Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for this unboxing and I have had this pen since my first day of vacation, actually. Uh, to explain a little bit more, I ordered this from Gold Spot Pens and I had it sent to my hotel in Florida because shipping was free. Uh, and if I had paid to have the same pen sent to me in Canada, I would have spent $25 US shipping. Uh, so I had it shipped to my hotel in Florida and I have been hanging on to it since then and I am just now unboxing it. So let's get started. So let's take off the box. Yes, it is a familiar blue. It is another Le Bon pen. And like I said, this one was purchased from Gold Spot Pens. They were very quick with the shipping and I was glad to have it. It was a nice little surprise when I got to my hotel in Florida to have this pen waiting for me. So, ooh, all right. One of the things that I do have to say is that their packaging is fantastic. It's so classy and luxurious. And then you open the box. Ah, there is the new pen. And I mean, along with that, you get like this little cardboard cutout of a nib, which I think is a great bookmark. Before I get into that, those or anything else underneath, yes, there is a Le Bon Refill Your Soul by Writing, and it's just the guarantee in uh, Taiwanese here, but also some instructions for how to clean the pen, how to store it. Do not store it like that, especially on an airplane, uh, things like that. So good information there, but I just love the box, how luxurious it is for the, the price of the pen. So... I'm so excited. Let's move the box out of the way. This here is the Le Bon Rosa in a lilac. Look at that beautiful color resin. Normally, I don't choose a pen just based on its color, like just the body. I, I know that there are a lot of pen makers out there who make beautiful colored resins and things like that. And that was never something that really attracted me, but this one has just stood out. It's got, you know, actually a pretty plain, like top of the cap there, a finial, but then you've got the gold trim, the gold clip, which actually is a little bit stiff, but still definitely workable. You've got the Le Bon logo on, on the cap there. Very classy. And then a little bit of the gold trim there as well. But just look at the color of that body, the beautiful greens and blues and a little bit of lilac because of course the name is lilac, but it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. And then inside, You've got a, it's a Yovo nib, actually, and it says Le Bon Thailand. I love that. This is a two-tone nib. It says Le Bon Iridium on it. It's a two-tone nib, and I got this in a medium. Absolutely gorgeous. And then inside it, this came with the pen. It came with... Oh gosh, a cartridge converter that had the word Le Bon on it. So I love that it already comes with that. So absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Now because the metal threads in, because of the threads being metal inside, you cannot eyedropper this, but I don't really intend to. And just seeing how many turns it takes to twist the cap on. So let's say, or twist the cap off. So one and literally one and a quarter one and a half so it doesn't take too long at all it's not something that really bothers me but you know this is actually quite a good size pen in my hand and it fits really really well in my hand i don't find the section too narrow at all and the threads here there's not a huge step up from the grip to the body and the threads are not sharp at all when I rest my fingers there, you can barely, barely feel them. It's very, very comfortable. Now, would I post this? It feels a little back heavy now that I am posting this. So I probably wouldn't post it. 
But for me, it's actually quite a good size pen just on its own, unposted like that. But let's see it again posted. Yeah, the cap makes it very, very back heavy. So it would be a little bit uncomfortable to write with that. So let's compare the Le Bon Rosa in Lilac to some of the other pens that I've got in my collection. So there's the Le Bon pen. Let's compare it to a few others in my collection. Compare it to the Pilot Kakuno, the Sailor Pro Gear, which I'm just realizing is almost the same size as, if not the same size as the Kakuno. And then I've got my Pelican M600, which looks like it's closer in size to the Lilac. And then we've got the Pilot Vanishing Point. And one more just to be sure, the Pilot Metropolitan, which there. And then I think, let's also compare it to, let's move these down here, the Lamy all-star it's about the same size actually as the Lamy all-star so if you're looking for you know a pen at about that size it's actually a good comparison for it so really it's about a little bit bigger than the m600 and about the same size as the safari and almost the same size as the metropolitan so let's look at them unposted so looking at that unposted, it is about the same size as the Metropolitan, a little bit smaller than the Safari, and actually like looks pretty comparable to the Kakuno, and definitely larger than the Sailor Pro Gear, and about the same size, if not slightly shorter, than the Pelican M605. In terms of weight, posted, this is 26 grams. And then unposted with the converter in it is 14 grams. So not too heavy at all. I think it's actually going to be just the right size for me. So let's go ahead and ink this up to go with the theme for my currently inked in what month is it? September. I am going to be inking it up with Diamine Tyrian Purple because also it has a tiny bit of purple in there. So let's get that inked up. Perfect. Let's wipe that down. Now that is all inked up, I'm going to go ahead and do a writing sample in my Hobonichi A6 notebook, which I use for ink sampling. And it looks like I'm on the last page in that section, but I don't think that's ever going to stop me from buying more pens. So let's zoom in here. Oh my goodness. Um, Rosa and lilac and this has a medium nib and oh my gosh it writes so smoothly right out of the box there is a bit of feedback but it's not at all scratchy it's just you can feel the paper and it's wet nib i love that there is no flex to it it's not I mean, ooh, there is a tiny bit of flex, but I wouldn't push that at all. But I love the shading of that. So this is a Yovo Steel Nib. And it's inked with Diamine. Green. Purple. And it's a very, very wet writer. I absolutely love that. Oh my gosh. I love the medium nib on this. You know, I started my fountain pen journey being all about the fines and extra fines, and now here I am writing with a medium, writing with the stub nibs, and finding the fines too fine. Like, what's going on with me? But I love this absolutely love this pen would i recommend it yes 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 absolutely would recommend this pen it's just gorgeous and gold spot actually has a really really good price on it i don't have anything that i dislike about this pen i think i need to get to know it a little bit more to you know find out about any dislikes but right now i am absolutely in love with it and can't wait to write with it 
So that is the Le Bon Rosa in Lilac. I am in love with this pen. And from the two Le Bon model pens that I have, 325 and now the Rosa, Le Bon so far is a fantastic company producing really great pens. All right, but that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.